Hello, I am Bradley Alicia. I am the community manager of Rockwire, and I'm here to do a second Atom tutorial. So as you saw in the first tutorial, this is Atom.io. If you download from this page, you will find the uh, downloader that's Mac or PC specific, depending on your platform. And again, this is a hackable text editor for the 21st century. So what I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to show you how to install packages. So in the other tutorial I've made, we're creating a markdown file, and then we're converting it to an HTML file. And the HTML file then can be used for uh, posting to the web or you know, working locally on your machine. So this is the Atom interface. This is the front page. This is the welcome tab. This is the welcome guide. You have your tabs up here. And I have an untitled file here, which you, know, you have uh, lines of, of text or code. You can use this as a code editor or as a text editor. You just simply create your document here. You type it out, and then you can convert it to a number of things or style it as you need. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to focus on this tab here called the welcome guide. And this is nice because it's all visual, and you don't have to worry about going through any arcane uh, menus uh, or doing something from the command line. So this is, uh, we have a lot of options here, actually. Uh, we can open a project. So if you've created a project in Atom, which is basically like a set of documents, you can open it there. Um, so you can open individual files or open a whole folder as a project. You can uh, do this. You can manage this with a tree view of an editor. So you can manage your files, you know, in the project as you see fit. So that's nice. Uh, also, you have, uh, there's integration with Git and GitHub. So you can actually integrate things, track changes to your code as you work. So you can say, for example, use this as a code editor. I can use my untitled file here. I can create some code in this file. And then I can use, I can actually interface with GitHub where I can actually make commits from Atom on your local machine. So that's actually pretty nice. And it's a low memory overhead. Uh, when you install the GitHub desktop, sometimes the memory overhead is a bit high. So that's, that's helpful as well. Uh, you can do other things, collaborate in real time with Teletype. That allows you to code in real time. Uh, there's a package for that, but I'm going to focus on installing packages that are customized from the community. So in the last uh, talk, I mentioned that there's an Atom community. If we go back to the, uh, this welcome tab, we can see that there's an Atom docs. So this is for guides and API references. Uh, there's uh, discuss.atom.io, which is an Atom forum. And then there are all these Atom packages that you can download from atom.org. You can download them from atom.org, or you can go to this install a package function in the welcome guide tab. And so if we open the installer, we can see what kind of packages we have to choose from. So uh, we open up the settings here, open up the installer. We have a bunch of different settings here. We won't get into those too much in this tutorial, but we will talk a, a couple, a little bit about some of these packages. So uh, first of all, I want to look at our installed packages. And I've been working with this for a while, so I have some installed packages. It comes with certain packages already pre-installed. If you go up to your uh, drop-down menu here, packages, you'll see that there are a number of packages that, are, that come preloaded with Atom. But there are custom packages. So Markdown to PDF is one where I say if I have a Markdown file, and I showed you this in the last uh, tutorial, I can actually take that Markdown file and turn it into a PDF file. I can also yeah, do Markdown Writer. So this is a, a package that allows me to sort of manage my Markdown contributions. This is nice if you're trying to write things in Markdown. You don't want to worry about like formatting the HTML. You just want to basically write text, but also just do some formatting and then convert it to something else like PDF or 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 to um, HTML or some other format. So there are a lot of different. You have a Pandoc PDF conversion. This is for uh, converting. Uh, Markdown documents and other things in a bit more sophisticated manner. So there are all sorts of different um, packages that you can choose from. Because this is open source, anyone can contribute a package. There's like a community standard. But other than that, 
uh, anyone can contribute a package. That's why we have multiple packages for Markdown. And that's a good thing because some of them work and some of them don't. So there's a bit of a trial and error. And I can tell you right now that there, this is a, you know, somewhat of an issue with some of the packages. You know, they may or may not work for you given you know your settings and, and your aptitude and, and all this. So uh, it's something to keep in mind, but there's so many packages to choose from. And for depending on what you want to do, there might be more, more than one package. So we have a bunch of packages here, Markdown Preview Plus, Markdown to PDF, Atom LaTeX, which is for converting to LaTeX uh, from, uh, it's like typesetting uh, equations in documents. And so I have that installed as well. Uh, but there are a bunch of other packages you can do. And these are available updates here, uh, packages. So say I want to find a new package. Um, I'm trying to think of something we might want to. Let's look at HTML. Let's search for HTML. And we see that just for the search term HTML, we have no community packages, but we have two core packages. So the core packages are the things that come with the install of Atom. And these are autocomplete HTML and language HTML. So this is basic. This allows you to say, uh, convert to an HTML file uh, on the fly and it generates all of that. But there are no community packages, there are no development packages, and there are Git packages. Uh, Git packages being things that are, you know, GitHub friendly. Development packages are like API type things. And community packages are things developed by people in the community. Let's do another search. Let's search Pandoc. And this is a, actually, this is an example of a community package, Pandoc PDF. This allows you to create a PDF from an Atom editor pane. So this is an editor pane here. This is the technical term for it. We create a document here. Then we want to convert it to PDF. But we also, in this editor pane, we're actually creating LaTeX code in it, uh, or maybe some markdown in it. And we want to convert all that to a PDF file. So we use this Pandoc. So this Pandoc is a standalone uh, package for converting different files. And I, I talk about this in the Markdown tutorial in the videos collection. So if you want to check into that a little bit more, you can. But this is, uh, so again, this is a community package that we can download. Let's try something like Markdown. So Markdown, there are a couple community packages. There's one core package, no development packages, and so forth. And so you can see that there are a lot of options. Uh, you know, I don't know what your interests are. If you look at Word, there's nothing. If you look for a word processor, maybe word processor, I don't know if that's a good term to use. So there are a couple, you know, that you can just keep searching for different packages in the community, or you can go to atom.org to find a package. So when you, uh, once you find the package that you want, you can, you know, open this installer, find the thing. So here I've installed it, and it's actually pretty easy to install file or packages. It'll come up, if you have to install it, you click install, it installs it, and then you might have to restart the, the program and, and open it up again, and all your packages will show up in this dropdown. And you can, you know, uh, when you're ready to do something, you go and you convert your package. So let's try actually Markdown to PDF. Why don't we go to do, do that? Um, let's create a Markdown file. Let's go, uh, let's try Hello World. We'll do a very simple example, all right? Hello world of Adam, we'll just do that. And then that's our, you know, and so this as a markdown file, we know that this will work because we know the, the syntax. If we go to the packages, uh, then we will look for markdown to PDF, and then we will click convert. And uh, you, have, you usually have to save the input file, but, and I skip, skip that step. So usually when you create a markdown file, you want to go to uh, File, Save As, and then we'll save it as Hello World Markdown. And then we have to put the 
we'll save it to the desktop. We've put the uh, suffix on it, save it there. And now it's saved. You can see that the, it changes in the sort of like a code editor. Once you save it, it actually changes some of the syntax. So it looks more like a conventional code editor. Uh, and so then we, but what we've done now we've gone and we've gone to Markdown to PDF, we've converted it. It's going to look for a saved file, but it didn't find it, but it did it anyways. And now it should be on our desktop. So let's take a look and see if we can find it. And we have Hello World Markdown. And we still don't have our conversion because it probably went somewhere where it's not converting to PDF. And now the output is in desktop. So this is the output. And here's our PDF. So let's open our PDF. And there we go. It's taken this markdown file and it's converted it into a PDF file, but it's kept the markdown formatting. And so now you have a nice document in PDF. And so, you know, if you want to create documents in Markdown, this is an excellent way to do it and convert it to PDF. Now, it doesn't treat it like, say, like Microsoft Word. If you draft something Microsoft Word and you convert it to PDF, you'll have control over things like page numbers and, and headers and footers and things like that. But this is a good way to create something that's, uh, you know, you can make a PDF in that format. You can also, of course, as I explained in my other tutorial, make an HTML file. So that all works out. And so I think that there, like a lot of the, uh, a lot of the um, different packages work in the same way. They convert things back and forth to different formats. And so once again, this is uh, our second Atom tutorial. Join us for more Atom tutorials later or other tutorials in our collection. Thank you.